All right, everybody. Today we're going to talk about uh, Johnson Control PID loops and some rate limiters. What you can do with a rate limiter. On there are three different things you can do with a rate limiter. Uh, just to show you the first one we're going to do, this is a slide from the class I teach. And this is going to be the just a rate limiter it, up and down. So it's a limit how fast we can move the PID up and how fast we can move the PID down. Let's show you what that does here. So we're going to make, I have a, a, a mode a set point and a process variable over here and an output. So let's go and make, anytime you're going to do a PID, you have to do a hybrid activity. That's the only way to turn the, the PID on and off. So we're going to create a PID. We're going to go in and view logic. First thing we're going to do is bring in a numerated input over here call it mode and that's what's going to turn our stake tables on and off so now we need we know we're going to need a set point just for Class purposes today, we're just going to call this discharge air temp set point, okay? And then we're going to need a process variable, and for today we're just going to use discharge air temp, okay? Now we're going to need an output float. Call this cooling output. All right, so let's go to the off state. And off, we want this to be a constant zero. There we go. This constant, just to show you, it comes in at zero. We don't have to name it anything. Boom. When this is off, it's going to output zero. On, we want to go ahead and do PIDs. So let's go down and do our, make a little bit more room here. We're going to do a PID preprocessor, and then we'll do a PID. A little bit higher PID preprocessor to our PID. Set point to set point, discharger to discharger. If you don't like the way that looks, you can always hide these, and I'll put numbers in its place. All right. And normally, we just connect the PID to the output. But today, why did I do that? Today, we're going to use a rate limiter. So now we got rate limiter here. To set up the rate limiter, this is changes per minute. So 100, that, that's going to be one minute of change. So if we do 50, that's going to be two minutes of change. So it's going to take two minutes to make a full change. So we can do that. That'll really slow it down enough where we can see it. Okay. So I think we're good to go. Let's go to our connections and connect our mode. Connect our set point. Connect our process variable. Connect our output. 
And let's go ahead and make the output that tag so we can see it. Let's start simulation. Simulate, we're going to start with process variable off. We're going to start with the, uh, let's start, discharge our temp. Let's make it like 65. So we'll get a, a, a good PID going on it. Nothing's going to happen right now because our cooling mode is off. But whenever we turn our cooling mode on, we are going to get a very slow PID. You logic. So our PID's already put an output of 100% in here, but our rate limiter is limiting how fast that PID can go up. We would be at 100% already if it wasn't for this rate limiter. We'll let it go, keep going. So if we did it right, it should take two minutes to go from zero to 100. So if we wanted to watch it go back down, let's command the discharge air temp down to 45, make a drastic swing. Pid's got to catch up. We're still going up until this number changes to zero. Make it even lower. Now our PID's at zero. That's going to take a full two minutes for this rate limit to put the cooling output all the way down. Okay? That's how just a normal rate limiter works. Okay, what else can we do with a rate limiter? Well, we can use it as a soft start. Pull this over here. We can uh, tie it to a min block with the PID coming in the top and the rate limiter coming at the bottom. We'll start the rate limit at a startup value of zero, and then it'll take the min out of both of these and put it out the output. Why would you want to do this? Maybe your system's oversized or something like that. This will help out on that. So the way that looks is we're just going to disconnect this. We're going to just disconnect this. We're going to drop that down there. We're going to bring in a min block. We're going to tie our rate limiter to the bottom. Tie this here. And tie this to your output. Now, the rate limiter is set up right. Start at value zero. We're good. Okay. So now,
This is the ramp up. So we need to put this at 100. Okay. Now we're going to simulate. Save changes. No. All right. So let's do the same scenario here 65, 55, and off. Boom. Whenever we turn this guy on. We're going to start our limit. See, we're at 100%. Same exact thing. Right? It's going to go up slow. But when we change our discharge air temp, It's going to go down quick. It's not going to let it, um, it's not going to keep it from dropping. As soon as this drops, this is going to go down just as quick as the PID does. Let the PID catch up. There it is. PID went to zero. Cooling went to zero. Okay, so that's the soft start part. Only limits uh, going up, but not going down. So now we're going to go and we're going to do the opposite. All right, we're going to delete this min block out. We're going to put a max block right there. Oh, why is my... There we go, max. Max block, come in there, come out from our rate limiter, and go into here and here. But now we're going to change our rate limiter to start at zero or go down to zero, but we're going to want it to start at a hundred. Okay. And here's what we're going to do with that one apply. Close, simulate, save changes. No, we're going to make this a little bit tighter so we don't get the PID moving as fast as we want the PID to move. I'll show you what happens. I'll show you in the PID move. So, when we turn the mode on, Boom, we're at 100. And the PID's still at zero. So now it's going to work its way down to 100. Well, why do you need this? Maybe cooling towers? Stuff that you want to ramp up? You don't want it to get too hot? So you want to start at 100 and ramp down? Now we can do this at like... Uh, 60 and I'll only ramp down to whatever the PID's putting out because this max block so whenever the put puts out more than the rate limiter that's what's on an output Let's see if we can make that happen here Sixty-six. Boom. 
now we're outputting more than the pit than the rate limiter so now the pit actually took over so now you're gonna get those super high temperatures in your your chill water system if you're using this as a max and starting up at 100. now remember to set this value up the way you want to set it up like i said this is going to be two minutes full time if we go to 20 that's going to be five minutes right because 20 changes a minute to get to 100 percent it's five minutes okay so the lower number the longer it goes the higher number the faster the change okay and i think that's going to conclude talking about the PIDs and the rate limits on Johnson Controls today.